suburban living, and so you're getting, you're arguing that. But don't you see? Notice the interesting thing is like this, this, this whole movement for like public-private partnerships to create parking garages. Now. Right. And this is idea that we don't like transit, or where where get upset with public transit. It's easy to pick on because of the cost. But do we not realize that we're just now we've given everybody own their, their own personal streetcar, and then all the private will say we will take on like creating our own trolley barns for everybody right. at all of your locations. So 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 it's just it's an, it's an interesting kind of interplay because you know look at these old old pictures and all you just don't see these. You would, I mean, if you would have shown people a hundred years ago parking garage facilities that just <laughs> dot downtown, like, what are these well, things? Especially here in well, Buffalo, what, what are they, they doing? doing? Yeah. yeah. In Buffalo, they have 27 football fields of public parking. Right. Oh. Joe, is that enough? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It can be up to 30. Well, <laughs> like, you were saying yesterday, you know you failed when the first floor of your parking garage is empty. Mm. And like walking around here yesterday, it was like all like that. Well, when you, you started earlier with this whole kind of notion of, um, it's a simple change in the inversion. And yeah. We all see that it's much more complex. I mean, how many times have we been in presentations and somebody asks us for a standard or what's the magic number? Or right. How do, I, how do I follow a prescriptive formula? Well, you guys do this kind of very active and engaged kind of thing. Right. And we keep on searching for these simple solutions to it's a messy. messy world. It's um, messy. It's, 